Right now, the FBI is warning consumers, saying to watch out for more scammers as you shop for holiday presents. CBS 8's Chris Grow is live in Sorrento Valley, sharing the signs that you should watch out for. Hi, Chris. And look, a lot of times when people think about the bad guys on Christmas or most of these holiday seasons, it's all about those guys from Home Alone, right? You think of the wet bandits and not necessarily those cyber criminals. Well, that's who the FBI is actually warning about because that's where a lot of this crime has shifted to now. It's all online. It's on your phone. It's on your computer. It's what you do when you think you're conveniently just shopping. And so what the FBI is warning for folks to do at home right now is to make sure that they are being cautious when they are out shopping online. Now, the stats back this up. According to the FBI, San Diegans lost more than $2.6 million to fraud last year. That includes more than 320000 during the holiday season. So what can you do to prevent this from happening? Well, the FBI says to watch out for too-good-to-be-true offers. They could show up in your inbox, social media feeds, or even text doesn't have to be phishing. They could be ads on sites like OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace. Don't fall for gift card schemes either on social media sites where maybe they offer up $100 in gift cards for just $50. Generally, again, the rule is if it's too good to be true, it's probably so. Another tip, do not exchange your personal information for a sale or offer. Check your credit card statements and bank accounts constantly. And remember, it can happen to anyone. Really just want people to know the common things like don't click on uh, links in your email or links from people that you don't know. We want people to think about what they're doing. And if it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't right. But we see a lot of different scams, online shopping, uh, gift card, charity scams. You mentioned tech support scams. There are a lot of scams out there. Yeah, and another chip, a tip there, remember about those charities, is that oftentimes there'll be a dot .org. So if you get sent a charity website, remember, these, these fraudsters, they'll even use charities to try to take your money. Make sure that it's a dot .org or, again, that you can maybe go back to that website, try to find it, especially if you've been uh, contacted about donating to a certain charity. Try to make sure that you kind of go back, contact the real one before you give up any money. Reporting in Sorrento Valley, I'm Chris Grove for CBS 8.